Good day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you an entity relationship diagram or an ERD and the cardinality relationships that define these uh, these entity relationship diagrams. Okay, now I'm going to start off with the first two entities. Now, first of all, you have to decide what your entities are before you put these relationships that you can see here in. Now, these are very common examples and uh, all, used all too often in, in real life circumstances. Now, we've got customers, sales orders, products. Now, as I said, I'll start off with these two. We've got a customer has zero to many sales orders. Now, I'll just go into that a little bit deeper. Now, you can see there's really four symbols here. One, two, three, four. Now the outside symbols, the ones closest to the boxes there, are called the outside cardinalities or the maximum cardinalities. And then you've got the ones on the inside that are also called the inside cardinalities or the minimum cardinalities. So you've got your mins and your maxes. So from that point, as I just mentioned, I said customer has zero to many sales orders because that's the way it usually happens in a database for uh, a business or company. Now saying that from the reverse we've got a sales order must have a customer. A sales order must only have one customer because you can't have a sales order that belongs to many customers and the mins and the maxes, so on the upper and the lower end, it can only have one at most and really one at least. Now going back to this little symbol here, the zero, it's sometimes called optional as well. Uh, people sort of interchange it between zero or optional and it works both ways really, so that's quite good. So that's really it in that case. And another very important point is uh, when you talk about these entities, you have to talk about them as if they're individuals, not as plurals. You're not going to say sales orders have a customer or customers have many sales orders. It's just a customer has many sales orders, optional to many sales orders, or a sales order has only one customer. So that's really the start of that and I hope that explains a little bit. This is part one and I'll throw a part two up shortly. Cheers.